Hey guys, it's Axel and Seven Eight, uh, and I'm just making a quick video, another redstone security video, and this is a multiple combination lock. So there's multiple combinations. In the video title, I'm probably going to call it something different, but uh, basically there's multiple inputs you can use to unlock different things. So as you can see, this door here is locked, and uh, if we come over here. Just jump over all this derp and stuff. We have the second door. And uh, basically, uh, we're going to go in here. And you see a row of lever things. And if you hit levers in a certain combination, it will unlock a door. There we go. Unlock this one. And then you can store your stuff in there and all that good stuff. But basically, uh, then we just come back in here. And if we put in the second combination, right now there's only two combinations that you can actually use. Oh. And uh, it opens this door where there's nothing. And let's add. Not creepy music, let's add oops to uh chests there for people to uh to store stuff in their bank, I guess you could call it. And then you have these up again. They return to their original state. And this one should be closed over here. There we go. And uh let's just fly. Uh, this is all just for decoration up here, so there's no purpose. But if we come back here, you see, not too complex wiring is pretty simple, I have to say. Uh, let's just make it daytime. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see. But uh, here we have the four inputs, and each input is hooked up to a torch. Depending on whether you want them to turn the lever on or what this tells you so you have to turn that lever on this one on that one has to stay off and that one has to go on and I actually set up an off detection system where it detects if it's off it's not that complex it's just that my other designs all that right there all my other designs did not have an off detection so basically you could just turn all four on and you could open both doors well, basically the way it works is you have to add a little extra. You see these uh, levers down here? You just flip that lever up, dig down, dig three blocks, uh, remove that repeater in place to redstone to allow uh, the off detection to be enabled. And that's how that works. Then it just continues on like this. And for the ones that are off, you, just, you have that uh, torch there. It's because that is charging this, so it has to be inverted, so to make sure it's off. So here, uh, I'm just gonna no clip through this wall. There we go. No way, I don't think I need that. And uh, oops, went in the wrong wall. Um, let's just hit these all down. As you can see, that one's off, so that stays in its default state. But uh, the, as you can see, it goes all down the line, all the way down there. And uh, that's how it works. And then it just goes up, gets inverted here, then gets inverted again because I'm dumb. And then uh, into a vertical and a logic gate which looks pretty sweet that looks like that two and logic gates power this one main vertical and logic gate which end piece is all the way oops down here which is that block right there which inverts it once again which powers that one door and uh, this design is basically made for people who are going to make banks with multiple combination locks and uh, you could just set up a whole row of them, but it'd be optimal to have it as um, eight, a multiple of four pretty much. So then you could do the 
a vertical and logic gates. Then the second one is set up. Uh, so same, but it's more compact. Because I realized when I was building the second design that I didn't need these two right here because it's just dumb. So this is the ultra compact version. This is what I'm saying. It's really simple. Uh, all the only hard part was the off detection uh, system, which I finally fixed that. So it's not too hard to do. And I hate that weather. Sun! Yay! Anyways, that's basically how it works. And uh, I'll just show you that the off-detection does work. And uh, hopefully it does. <laughs> Let's just go through here. And as you can see, that powers that. And then it doesn't work. See, we now have a current, which is bad, because there is an inverter at the end. And that also means the store doesn't open. And uh, it's it's not very difficult to make. You can make it yourself. If you just look at this main area right here. Try to get it from all angles. Just so you can see. And this one has the inverter somewhere. I don't know. Put it in there somewhere. But uh, that's basically how, how this works. And uh, I was thinking about it. Um, to all my subscribers, I don't know what type of videos you actually like. I'm just assuming that you enjoy redstone videos and stuff like that. But uh, if you're looking for a certain type of video that uh, you want us to make, like if you want to see more adventure maps or more mod reviews, just like say so in the comment section. That's what it's there for, so you can leave us tips, I guess, on what you want to see. And if you want to see more redstone, just say so. And uh, that's basically it for the multiple combination lock bank uh, design and uh, you're probably wondering people can just go back here and look at it but this is just a prototype and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching